on it on this show. So right, they right. talked to her about that. Uh-huh. Um, but she's just saying how she's grateful of that situation to be on the show. And hopefully, oh, they did a, a girlfriend thing. They did mm-hmm. a, mm-hmm. Sunny asked her questions about relationships. Okay. Remember, we're going back to you saying, mm, does she have background knowledge of a relationship because hers was messy and right a lot of times that can give you experience and to do better and not to repeat Uh so sunny did a little thing and asked her two questions one question she said this girlfriend is concerned about dating her boyfriend for over a year okay but he has never introduced her to his family is that a concern yeah well or what about his friends star said well you don't know right is she the only girlfriend that's what i'm saying Ask him that too. And did he introduce her to his friends? I don't know. They only that was the only thing with the friends family. might be because the family and that he could have a crazy family. I don't know. But friends. But a year of dating him. Yeah, that's a, a long year. time. That's what Star said. That's that's so. And Star said they had a rule with her family. Mm-hmm. Six months. You need to be seriously with this man. For and then six you got to before you bring him home. She made a little cutie word saying. My mom or her family said they don't want no Lottie Dottie meeting everybody. And I see yeah. what she was saying. Could you bring in everybody home? And so so six what's the what what do months. people think? What do y'all think? What's the what's the time what's frame? the timeline? You should date somebody. Seriously dating someone. Before well, write that maybe that should be one of the questions on okay. the community wall. Okay. What's the timeline that you date somebody before you could you should have met their family? If is it six months, is it four months, five months? A year? Is there ever a time where you feel like you the person has to introduce you to their family? Because I had a co-worker. He was dating a young lady, and they were dating a long time. And he never introduced to the family? Yeah, the family loved See, her. That's God, cool. they loved her. But the mom had to sit him down and say, I don't want to meet anybody. Because he didn't marry her. Yeah, I see. There was two more women after that yeah. while I was working with yeah, him. Nah. That he ended up marrying the next, the third one. At for me knowing it. And the mom said, don't introduce me to any more of your girlfriends. Well, see how long? I get connected to him. And how long was he with the one that he didn't marry? Was it over a year? The one that he introduced to the family and they loved her? Yeah. yeah. They dated a while. See? So while. here's the, well, then maybe so she answers. had to be introduced to the family because he was with her. Well, here's the question. She just didn't marry her. Maybe you don't, okay, True Blue said at least one year. Maybe you don't introduce them until you know you're going to marry them. That's a hard one because they dated for so long. You're going to introduce them to the family. But he never proposed to her. No, he didn't marry So her. maybe this guy thinks like that too. Oh, that's sad. If I know, if I know I'm not going to spend the rest of my life with you, I'm not going to introduce you to my family. Because maybe his mom said the same thing you said. What's his name's mom said? They love Don't her. bring that person and over here you unless a, you're going to marry them. And remember we talked about this before. If 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 your, your girlfriend or your boyfriend is being introduced to the family and they love him like jo- uh, Judge Mathis. Yeah, that the kids was mad at the brother because they like they the, love yeah. the girl. Yeah, and they break. He breaks up. Do you still stay friends with her? Yeah, as a family. No. Well, she's an ex. Mm, she's an ex. Ah. That's a good one. Write that one down too. Oh. If you break, <laughs> if you break up because I'm divorced and I'm still talking to my ex husband's yeah, mom. You know, the, 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 and I don't have no kids. There's no reason in the world I should be talking wife, to this woman. The wife don't know, Kim. You're right. Because the wife. He's married. The guy who I was married to, I'm divorced. And I talk to his mom still. Not all the time, no. Not all the time. But I still have a relationship with her where I call, she calls me and I could call her or whatever. And we have no kids. So technically, there's really no reason to keep talking to her wow. other than the fact that she likes me and I like her. But think about this. What My shirt you, is wrinkled, but that's you, okay. What if you've been that in daughter-in-law for the years that you've been together? You think the kids would make a difference if you had kids? If you have kids, it makes sense for y'all to keep having a conversation. Mm-hmm. But what reason do I have to keep talking to his mom? Yeah, that ex can be a Or his family. family. That ex- and I still talk to him. Yeah. And his new wife doesn't know. Yeah, that's a good question. But that was the problem that that one couple has. And I don't talk to him all the time, so I don't give me no hate mail about why you talking to him. I call him or he calls me every five or whatever years exactly. just to see if we still alive or yeah. to see if my mom how's is alive. Doing? How's your wild. sister doing? How's yeah. yeah. But his wife don't know that. Okay. I never met her. I never talked to her, his new wife. Mm-hmm. 
So that's true. Second question, and this is just going to end it for the Star Jones uh, segment. Mm -hmm. This one lady is writing saying, my fiance, fiance and I are having a bachelor and bachelorette party separately. Mm -hmm. In the past, I know he's cheated. He has some problems cheating. I don't want him to have a bachelor, bachelor party. That has nothing to do with if it. If I don't want him to have a bachelor party, do I not have to have a bachelorette party? First of well, all... You want to hear views? Uh, uh, let, me say, let me say my name. Tell me okay, if anybody agree with me. Okay. First of all, him having a bachelor party has nothing to do with whether he's going to cheat or not. That's stupid. If he's going to cheat, he's going to cheat regardless of the bachelor party. Okay. That's dumb. Uh -huh. Second of all, why are you marrying somebody you don't trust? You don't even trust that he gonna have he ain't gonna cheat on you at the bachelor party. Mm -hmm. You gonna be the type of woman that's gonna be uh, trying to check him all the time, mm -hmm. coming in and out. And if anything, that should be a warning to him not to marry you. Mm -hmm. That's my opinion because that means she hasn't gotten over the fact that you cheated on her in the first well, place. You pretty much. If you gotta go through all that, don't get married. Thank you, True. If you, you gotta do, get what Star said. Ah, uh, hold on. We gonna do what Star said. No, you are. Hold on. We okay. are telling She's what we think. What you guys are saying. But you so gotta no come in. To come back to no, it. No, you gonna tell us what she said. She says what you're saying. Oh, go ahead. What's nothing she say? to say. What's That's why saying? I hate when people bombard my question and answer. Go ahead. What did she say? She said what you just said. What did she say? Gosh. <laughs> what did you just say? What like is... if you got some issues with him at a bachelor party and, right, and, right, and right. he's cheating? Yeah. There's some concerns with you being trusted and marrying him. Okay. Why are you even marrying him? Okay. If you have the same thing you guys are saying. But I wanted to say it first because I wanted I to say. I want you to say it first. Let me tell you why. Why? I wanted to say it first. <laughs> True is laughing. <laughs> True, you say, agree with what I'm saying. Oh. I wanted to say it first because I wanted to see if we was along the lines oh. of what the women on the view were saying. Okay. Yeah, you well, can still say what they it said. Wasn't about the woman on the view. Remember, this was the Star Jones Corner. All right. So go ahead. Sunny was asking her these questions, but she said Star mentioned that you should ask, um, should ask if we why you're getting married. Exactly. You have some trust issues, even at a bachelor bachelor a bachelor party. Yeah. So that's more concern. If he's there. gonna cheat, he's gonna cheat. And of course, if you're saying no to his party and you're going to do yours, yeah. that's stupid too. That's stupid. Both of y'all going to have your party. First of all, they starting off on the wrong foot. I so I don't know how long that marriage is going to last. See, he, my boyfriend cheated on yeah. me and I don't know about him having a bachelorette. So that means she hasn't gotten over the fact that he's cheated on yeah. her. So yeah. that's ridiculous. Okay. So, so why get married? That's true. So that's a good one. That, that's not, I'm not going to ask that question. they probably asked her these questions because she probably faces all of this on um, divorce court. Because you mm. think about it, they be bringing up a lot of stuff on divorce court. And she asks good questions sometimes. They showed a clip of her and one couple. Mm -hmm. And she asked the man something. Because he it was something about tickets and he wanted to return them. She wanted to return them and he wanted to keep them. Because mm -hmm. he was probably going to. She said, you got another woman you're going to get a ticket to? Mm -hmm. And he said, oh, your honor. What time is that? How clock you know? Up? How you know? What time is the real oh, clock? Oh, I need to sign in too. Yeah. What time is it? Five twelve. Yeah. Go ahead okay. and sign in. But that was pretty much it. That okay. Enjoyed the the Star Jones thing. That threw us off because our thing got thrown off with the time. Uh huh. And then my last one. Um, Tanisha says, "No trust, no real love. First comes trust, truth, then comes that came off. That went off too fast." No trust, no real love. First comes truth, then comes honesty. That's exactly right. Yeah. If you don't have no trust, then why are y'all even having that? Yeah. I wanted to quickly just talk about Matt 